Composer Home Edition, or Composer HE, is for users who want to modify some settings that shouldn't require an installer. Composer HE runs in Windows and makes it easy to monitor the devices in your system, upload and manage your digital music, create programs to perform multiple events with a button tap, and more. If you haven't done so yet, please view the Composer HE Features and Overview and Composer HE Basics videos before you start using Composer HE. As a precaution, Composer HE lets you change some settings in your system, but it does involve some risk for which you must assume responsibility. There's a chance you could disable your system if you change some settings or program your devices incorrectly. If this happens, contact your dealer. This video assumes that Composer HE is already installed and open on your computer. If not, check with your dealer or see Composer HE Getting Started on the Control 4 Owner's website. With Composer open, I'll click on the Agents button to go to the Agents view. Before you work with the Advanced Lighting, Variables, Email Notification, and Scheduler agents, you'll need to add these agents to your project. Just click Add in the Agents pane. Select the agent to add and then click OK. In this video, I've already added these agents. As you can see, they appear in the Agents pane, just below the Add button. You only need to add the agents you'll be using. You can use the Advanced Lighting Agent to view or change the lighting states, view, track, toggle, ramp, or fade lighting scenes, set delays to turn lighting scenes on or off, use scene sequencing, flashlights in lighting scenes, and more. This agent works best with the panelized lighting and next generation lighting devices released in 2013. But if you have older lighting devices, you can still use this agent. In fact, you should use this agent rather than the lighting scenes agent. If the lighting scenes agent doesn't appear in your list, don't worry about it. You can use the variables agent to create variables when commands, conditionals, and loops don't work for your program. Variables are quantities or functions that can assume a given value. There are three types. Room variables provide additional customizing for room programming. Custom variables let you define additional options in your program for Boolean, true or false, numbers, devices, and strings. For this video, I'll be using the Boolean variable. Container variables let you bind two or more devices together. However, I won't be discussing container variables right now. You can use the scheduler agent to define conditions of time to the system and schedule custom events in programming. For example, you can set dates and times to start and stop an event, such as a lighting scene or when to turn the lights on or off. So when you're on vacation, you can set the lights to come on at sunset and go off at 11 p.m. Or you can set a time to turn on your favorite TV channel automatically when the nightly news starts. You can use the email notifications agent to send text messages via SMS to your smartphone. This is the best method. Or you can send an email to your computer when specific events occur in programming. Maybe you'd want to know when the garage door opens, or when someone unlocks the front door, or if the kids get into your gun cabinet. I don't know about your neighborhood, but my neighbors sometimes forget to close their garage doors at night. This agent provides many ways to get some extra security. Now, let's take a closer look at the advanced lighting variables and the scheduler agents. We'll be using them to create the first program. Then, I'll show you how to create another lighting program that uses the email notification agent with lighting. I'm going to create a lighting scene using the advanced lighting agent called Vacation Lights. Then I'll add a schedule for that lighting scene to execute when I go on vacation. I'll click on the advanced lighting agent in the list and then click New. In the box, I'll name the lighting scene Vacation Lights and click Create. Now I'll click Add Remove Load in the top pane. Notice that a list box appears. This is where I add the lights I want in this scene. I'll select some lights, the front porch, guest room west light, and hall light, and then click OK. 
Notice that these lights appear in the Vacation Lights pane. You can adjust the LED colors and light levels for each switch and dimmer that follows the scene status. You can also set on or off for switches or ramp rates and time to ramp for dimmers. In the bottom chart, you can see which lights are on or off and their light levels. I'm going to set the light levels for each device at 80%. I can also adjust the ramp rate or rate to three seconds. The rate is the amount of time it takes to ramp a light up to the desired level when it turns on. Notice that when you change the rate, the graph at the bottom of the pane changes too. Tracking allows the system to know exactly which scene is active so you can toggle between multiple scenes. For example, I may have a cook, dine, and entertain scene on a kitchen keypad that all use the same loads but are tracking at different levels. Or I may want to track any load at any level in the basement. If any lights are left on, I can see that the scene is still active and can then toggle the lights off from another location in the house. Delay is used with the show flash option. If you want lights to flash on and off or alerts for next gen lighting devices, sync this scene synchronizes your scene with other lighting scenes. An easy way to test your vacation lights is to click activate scene after you create it. You can then walk around the house to see which lights went on or off as you add them. Here's a tip. You can create, delete, and edit lighting scenes on your touchscreen, but you can't program them there. See Lighting Scenes under Owners, Resources, Documents, and Special Features at Control4.com for details. For more information about how to use the Advanced Lighting Agent, refer to the Composer HE User Guide on the Owners website at Control4.com. Now, let's create a variable. I'll click the Variables Agent in the Agents list and then click New. I'm going to create a Boolean variable and assign it to True. In the New Variable box, I'll leave the default as New Variable. In the Name box, I'll type Vacation. In Variable Type, I'll make sure Boolean is selected and then click OK. Notice that the new variable appears on the left under the Variables pane. Now, I'll create a new schedule. I'll click the Scheduler agent in the Agents list and click New. In New Event, I'll give the scheduled event a name, House Lights, and click Sunrise Sunset. You can enter random times that the event starts, too. For example, if you type 15 minutes, this varies the event start time by plus or minus n minutes. In this case, 15 minutes. This is useful when you're on vacation and you want to turn the lights on at random times so outsiders think someone's home. In start date, I will specify today because I want the event to start today. I can repeat this as often as I'd like, but I'm going to pick daily and then I'll click OK. In my program, I want these lights to go on at sunset and repeat every day. Here's a tip. Use the scheduler agent for all types of scheduled events in your home or business. You can modify these events whenever you leave for vacation, you're away from home, and more. So I've configured the agents, and now I'm ready to create some programs using these agents. I'll click on the Programming button, and then show you how to create two simple programs using scheduled events with my new lighting scene, scheduler, email notifications, and variable agents. When you create a program, you start with an if or when statement as an event in the left pane. For example, when house lights executes, you want the system to do something, such as turn on certain lights. The do something is the action that you select from the right pane. You always combine events with the actions and then add them to the script pane to develop your program. Notice that the tree in the left and right panes is the same. In the device events pane, I'm going to scroll down to the scheduler and select the house lights scheduled event that I created earlier. When this event executes, I want to turn on the lights. Notice that the when scheduled event house lights executes statement appears in my script pane. Next, I'll add the actions. First, I want to scroll down and select the variable vacation. Then, I'll click the conditionals tab and select is true. 
Under vacation actions, I'll see the statement if variables vacation is true. I'll select that and add it to the script pane. This script means if you select the vacation custom button on a navigator, the script will run. Notice this script statement has a question mark next to it. It's a general statement. I can nest the next statement under that. Now, in the device actions pane, I'll select some lights, turn them on, and drag those lines into the script pane. I'll drag that text to the script pane on the top of the if variables vacation is true script to nest it below that line. To test the script, I'll click Execute. I've just created a program where my lights will come on during the scheduled days and times I've set in my scheduler when I press the Vacation Custom button in my navigator. I talk about how to create custom buttons and the Custom Buttons agent in the Composer HE Using Variables, Macros, and Custom Buttons Agents in Programming video. Another way you can use lighting in a vacation program is to use the same Boolean variable I described in the last example. In this case, you'll need a motion sensor. If the motion sensor senses motion and the variable is true, I want the system to turn on some lights and send an email notification to my smartphone. This lets me know there may be an intruder lurking around my house. In this example, you won't need a scheduled event but you will need to create a template using the email notification agent. Watch the Composer HE using the announcements and email notification agents in programming video to learn how to set up an email announcement. In the device events pane, I'll scroll down to the motion sensor in the theater room and select it. Then I'll select when motion sensor senses motion. Notice that the script now says when home theater motion sensor senses motion. Now, I'll go to the Device Actions pane and scroll to the variable Vacation, select it, and drag the If Variable Vacation is True statement to the script pane. In the Device Actions pane, I'll select a lighting scene, turn them on, and drag those lines to the script pane. Next, I'll want to get an email notification, so I'll select the Intruder notification in my Agents list and add it to the script pane. Now test your program by clicking Execute in the script pane. It's your turn to have some fun creating scheduled events, variables, email notifications, and lighting scenes for your programs. If the program doesn't work the way you expect it to, just delete the script lines that aren't working for you and start over. Or you can choose not to back up your project when you exit Composer HE. If you do that though, remember any other changes you've made in your current Composer HE session will not be saved.